T T T T A. Asked me to do a video about safety in the truck. All right. So, uh, as I come along, different things that I feel will um, uh, injure you on the job because truck driving is not a lot. It's not physical unless you flatbed or something like that. It's more mental. Um, I will go ahead and start making videos about it. So today's video is going to be about trailer doors. All right. When you reach a receiver okay and you go to initially open the doors you should not i repeat i repeat you should not just open the door and swing it wide as you can immediately don't do that what you need to do is um once you first open that door crack it when you crack that door there's a couple things that you need to listen for that you need to feel for and that you need to see okay one you need to see that the freight is not leaning on the door Okay. Two, you need to listen for anything falling when you crack the door. Three, you need to smell and listen for liquid sounds. So if you're carrying like a beer load or Coca-Cola or something like that, and the load might have shifted, once you crack that door, you're going to hear the clink from the bottles or the crink from the cans, or you're going to, when you open the door, you're going to smell the Coca-Cola or the beer that's sitting in the back of the truck. You're going to um, hear it hit the door. So if you open the door, you crack it a little bit, you're probably going to make a thumb sound. Uh, the reason why I brought this up because I just reached this receiver and I had paper towels. I'm running a 14 foot trailer at paper towels, double stack. When I opened the door, the paper towels started to fall forward. I saw that they was falling forward, but because I didn't open the door all the way, it didn't fall on the ground, damage the product. All right. <coughs> so uh, I'm just going to reiterate a quick video uh, safety tips with TRB. Um, one of the things you need to do is when you get to your receiver, the first time you open that door, you need to crack it just a little bit. Once you crack it just a little bit, you can look, glance in there and see, okay, is the product leaning on this door or that door? Is the, has the product shifted? Is the product broken? Is the product uh, leaning on the door? Because if you swing that door and get, and get hit on the head by, you know, uh, 400 pounds of paper towels, <laughs> a pallet full of paper towels, hit you across the head, it, it, it's going to be a sight to see. It's going to be slightly embarrassing. I ain't even going to lie about that. but. Uh, I'd rather it be some paper towels than for it to be, you know, two stack hive Coca-Cola or some whatever product that you're hauling. Um, and also, like, for instance, if you're hauling like a reefer and you got meat or fruits or something like that in your trailer, and when you open the door, you know, you know, the oranges to roll out and stuff like that. You can catch all that before if you just crack the door. Once you crack the door, glance on the inside. Once you glance on the inside, see everything is, is secure, go ahead and open it. In a situation, now now what I'm about to tell you is what I did. You don't have you don't have to do it, but this is what I did. I saw that the paper towels were leaning on the door. I need to get the paper towels off the door. I closed the door back because I really didn't open it that far. When I closed the door back, uh, the parking lot was big enough for me to gain a little speed and just jam on the brakes. I don't have a Qualcomm, so I'm just saying, this is the reason why I did that. If I had a Qualcomm, you might've got a hard break in or something like that. I don't know how that works. Um, I think I got one with Swift, but that was a while ago. Uh, but what I did is, is I wanted to load the shift a little bit forward. And it actually worked, so I jammed on the brakes, I went back out there, I looked, the paper towels wasn't leaning on the door. Basically, a lot of these shippers or receivers have inclines to where when you back up, it, brings the trailer down to where the product is basically leaning forward so what I did is I backed as close as I could to the door glanced again when I opened that door boom everything was good open the door all both of the doors all the way and just bumped the dock I was I was you know a uh, trailer door length away literally from the door so that way if the product did fall out you know where it would fall it would fall on that dock door and it wouldn't fall in and the product wouldn't necessarily be damaged um, it will I, I will warn the uh, the lumpers or whatever that hey the product shifted a little bit is leaning on the door be careful when you open the door and that way what they can do is they open the door their uh, dock door halfway get a forklift and they can adjust the pallet in order to get the product off other than that um so yeah that's safety tips with trb baby <laughs> you know i hope this helped uh, again common sense is not that common so if there's anybody out here that feel like you know oh no shit sherlock um it has happened it has happened so um, common sense is not that common, but hopefully this information will help you out. Uh, feel free, I'm adding everybody on Facebook. 
it's TRB, I-T-S, TRB. Search that, add me, I'll eventually get to your, your uh, ad within a day, 24 to 48 hours. Uh, you can also check out YTT8 Network, where, where uh, me and five or six other um, uh, YouTubers live stream five days a week. We also have guests, I think we had Big Cat on there, we had, uh, I think, uh, Trucker Steve's supposed to be on there. Uh, I think we had a uh, <coughs> little guy, little dog on there as a guest as well. Uh, you can also check out YTT Affiliates. Um, if you feel like this content is worth a dollar or more, feel free to go to, if you're on your mobile phone, go to About, click on Support. Uh, you can feel free to donate there. If you're on your desktop, you can feel free to donate on uh, my YouTube home screen. Other than that, people, it's TRB, baby. <laughs> yes. Yes. Y'all like my shirt? It ain't available yet. Yes, I do. I'm not conceited to have my face on my body. Land of the Freak. Why it on me? Watch